because it's hurricane and we are having hurricanes. Yeah. That is the drink. I have to tell you, I think this is a wicked drink. It's from New Orleans and I don't think a person should drink too many of these. And I, even though I've never had one, I got a feeling they go down easy. Yeah, I have a feeling so. Something to be careful about. And this was recommended by two people, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. It was. Yeah, so. So, shout out to our fans. <laughs> we, we, we listen to our I, fans. We do. We listen and respond. Now, you might be wondering why do I have these sunglasses on? I was, actually. And I, because, and I live with you. Because it's 520 and the sun is out and oh. going down, but you don't need sunglasses. Got it. Why? Because Ronald and I went on a hunt for sunglasses. <laughs> and... We went to Target. Target? Yeah, like the Target lady. I'm at Going Target. to Target. Right. And we found some sunglasses, and they were $125, and I was not going to pay $125. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, well, that was better than the pair that was 134 that was right next to them. And there so. was another 185 Yeah. I mean, these are non-prescription lenses. Just sunglasses. I said, this isn't right. That's right. So... In preparing for this cocktail, we went to the grocery store. These babies here, six ninety nine. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, Holly, they look better than any of those others that were, you know, three figures. And can you tell they're six ninety nine versus one hundred and eighty five? Yeah. I think not. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the tale of the sunglasses, which has nothing to do with our cocktail. No. So we're gonna get mix in. What you need is you need light rum and dark rum, two ounces of each. Wow. Right. For one drink? For one drink. That's Holy why I cow. said I think this is a wicked drink. Yep. An ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice and lime juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, and uh, passion fruit puree. Which, which is, is not easy <laughs> to find. <laughs> Hey, you got some passion fruit puree? Thank goodness for Woodman's. <laughs> it's in the food section. It has nothing to do with uh, the alcohol liquor store. Yeah. It's Goya. Anyway, then you need a teaspoon of grenadine. We're going to shake that all up and put that in our hurricane glasses, which Ronald got for us <laughs> at the charity shop down the no not it's, it's not a it's, charity, it's, charity shop it's, but it's, it's an antique, antique mall antique mall yeah. sorry um down the down a block or so from our house so thank goodness yeah and yes. way cheaper than if we would have been able to find them at a real store which That's we also sure. did try going we, on an excursion oh, man so <laughs> this i'm is gonna a, start mixing been one of the more difficult drinks to uh prepare for yes but has. we did it we did it so, did you do any research, Ronald, on the drink? Because I have to tell you. How can you even ask? <laughs> See, I, I have to tell you, I have no idea how to answer that. How can you ask? See, I feel this could go yes, or it could go no. <laughs> okay. So, so anyways, so what do you got? in the case of the hurricane, the hurricane is named because of the shape of the glass. It's shaped like a hurricane lamp, and that's why it's called a hurricane. And it originated during World War II when rum drinks became popular um, because apparently whiskey was hard to get. I don't know where it all went, but whiskey was hard to get. Maybe did a lot of it come over from uh, England or something? I don't know. But whiskey was hard to get, so... Ronald, we're having a problem. Did people you bring were... a little knife out? No. All right, you chat, I'll get the knife. Okay, people were drinking rum. And so the drink uh, originated at Pat O'Brien's bar in New Orleans um, and took off like crazy. And here she comes, knife in hand. So what were you saying, it was about a paddle boat? No. I thought I heard you say something about a paddle boat. Pat O'Brien. Oh, that was what it was. Yes. Okay. Or paddle boat. Some people called him paddle boat. Yeah, there you paddle go. Paddle boat O'Brien. Yeah. Um, 
No, that was the name of the bar in New Orleans where it was uh, invented ah. during World War II. And that's about all I have on it. Right? Yep. Okay, wait a minute. That was just one ounce. I need two ounces of this. Okay. So what else do we have to chat about while you're cooking? I don't know, man. Well, I think uh, Monday, we, we kind of vacillated between this and a whiskey drink because Monday it's is National, National Whiskey, whiskey Day. Day. Yep. If I'm recalling correctly. You are recalling correctly. And, uh, and probably next weekend we won't have. We won't have cocktails with the princes next weekend because I will be gone. But we will have cocktails with the princes on Tuesday. There you it go. will be the wedding edition. <laughs> it's our anniversary. So we'll have to come up with an anniversary cocktail maybe. Oh, well, that's think? a good idea. Yeah. We're open to suggestions. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And uh, well, this is a cumbersome thing to make. It sure is. It's like when I looked at all those ingredients, I thought, holy cow. Um, we could do cocktails with the prince, and I could just sit here filming a, an empty chair for 10 minutes. We could <laughs> make a cocktail without me, although you, you have to put it on the tripod. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I, I can't make them anyways. You're the, you're the mix master. I coach you through it. We could have a Zoom cocktail. Oh, Zoom cocktail. Yeah. All right, so we're going to check this out. I think it's going to be beautiful. Not even finished. Whoa. Close. I looked it up in Wikipedia. Yeah. And they it was sort of an, an odd entry about it, but they did go on about the movie Naughty But Nice. I think it's... Okay, it sounds like a... Dick Powell and I forget okay. who was in it. <laughs> That's um, what I was thinking. Yeah, it was, you know, it was... <laughs> You know, a 40s movie. It was your basic black and white. Um, and the uh, the hurricane in there played a, a relatively prominent role because the it was made with just lemonade and rum. Lemonade and, and rum. Lemonade and rum. Somehow um, I think that's a different drink. <clears throat> well, they were... Uh, they were a little uncertain about it, but they were calling it a hurricane, so that's... All right. Yeah. All right, we got to get our two ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice. Getting our two ounces of lime in there. I noticed you're not wearing your parka. I'm not. It's a little cooler. I have to say I have my exercise pants on. And it might have been good to um, have changed into some jeans. I'm wearing my parka. <laughs> it's like, I I don't know. I, it's, I mean, it was nice out today, and it's supposed to be in the mid-30s tomorrow, so heck. Having a heat wave. That's right. All right, we got the lime juice in there. Now all we need is the half of... It, uh, simple syrup. It's interesting as I was reading about this they referred to the the traditional pink color and it isn't pink. Yeah it's kind of a I don't think we should talk about what color it looks like. Well it's I would call it an uh, uh, maybe it gets a, pinkier if you um, put more grenadine in it. Yeah that would do it. I would call it a butterscotch color. Okay. You can call it. This is leaking. Wow. Wonder. Yeah, this is... Wow, I wonder why. I think the ice contracted the cup too much, uh, so it didn't seal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to pour this in here. They're quite lovely, Holly, actually. They are. And to top it off, we have a piece of orange. Wow, it's quite a piece. An umbrella 
with a Luxardo cherry in it. Boy, all out, man. Oh, man, you're going to have to take a sip out of that one. All right. I just realized these umbrellas are blue and pink. That's really bad. Okay. Well, it's what there they are. Go. Take a sip off that. Mine's pretty high. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Whoops. Well. What do you think? I don't know about these. It's the passion. <laughs> um, yeah, I am. I thought this was going to be really... It tastes sort of... I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. It's missing the middle. It's sort of like got the tartness and... You taste the alcohol, but that's... I'm going to take the orange out of there once. Okay. Maybe that... We also didn't comment. One of the cheap glasses we got says the Fireside Dinner Theaters of uh, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin and Springboro, Ohio. Yeah, I, I thought that was quite amazing. Wisconsin and Ohio. And Ohio. The two of us together. Yeah, yeah sort of maybe uh, a... Uh, precursor to our upcoming anniversary look at that i didn't even think about that but this drink yeah i don't know yeah I, i'm not a fan yeah well this, we might, can't. this might go into the bush <laughs> so yeah they can't all be winners, you know? I think they make, like, this is from scratch, but I think they also make, like, Hurricane Mix. Maybe the mix is better. Probably. It's probably sweeter. Yeah, I just... Don't know. And it's sort of watery, too. It just tastes thin. It tastes like alcohol and kind of some not very good juice. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is the first time we've ever had a drink where it's just kind of like a hard no. <laughs> yeah, plus it's... Oh, I think we've had a few, actually. No, I think usually one or the other likes it. I don't like this. Yeah. yeah. It might get better. Sometimes they get better. <laughs> yeah, I think because it's got four ounces of liquor. You got it. it. You betcha. By the time you get halfway down, you don't care anymore. Exactly. I'm not going to get halfway down. I well, think good for you. Oh. I might go both there and back for both of us. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Well, even though the drink was not that good. Yeah. We do hope that y'all have a great Saturday evening and a lovely Sunday. And we'll see you next, not this Tuesday, but the following.